the government's decision will have surprised few here in Bujumbura. No one aside from the president seemed ready for an election anyway. So we and the Electoral Commission told CCTV Africa earlier this week that it would recommend a postponement. The troubles now well into their sixth week have taken a heavy toll on Burundi. Talks had been called off when an opposition leader was murdered two weeks ago. But Pierre Nkurunzinze's other political opponents say it's time to resume negotiations. We hope the government can now open talks. We need to find a solution. The talks will be on credible elections to ensure transparency, opening up of media and democratic space. During this period, we hope the president can personally take charge of the talks because it's his third term that is the issue. He's the only one who can solve this crisis. But they say Pierre Nkurunzinza must not run again. The government too says it's open for dialogue, but that Nkurunzinza will run. Have you ever thought that there are also people who would, who would want to have his name on the ballot? Have you? Why can't you see that we have institutions, that we have laws in this country, and that we also have people? There might be people who have their own opinion. It's fine. It is actually a sign of a vibrant democracy. Those in Bujumbura brave enough to speak on camera have welcomed the delay, but they want more. The problem is not whether or not elections are postponed. The main issue is he just can't run again. Nkurunzinza's party says his support is widespread and he's determined to prove it at the ballot box. Jim Kale, CCTV, Bujumbura, Burundi.